end of every podcast, we have someone open up a 1991 NBA hoops, 1990-1991. Yeah. It's from that season. NBA hoops. Wow. Cards. That's a good year. For us, baby, it's the best. <laughs> yeah. Milk money was in its script stages. <laughs> but uh, we have two piles. We have the keep pile and we have the crusty pile. Right. So when you like one, you're going to keep it. You know, if it's Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, a guy we've never heard of, we make fun of him. We talk his stats. We throw him <laughs> in the crusty pile. And Homeless Pimp has came up with the greatest idea of all time, which is... Then, at the very end, when the cards are done, we pick one guy out of the, the crustiest of the crusty pile to do a little, where are they now? Ah. Check it's a great idea. Half of them have been dead, right? Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. But go ahead. Okay. So, this is taking me back. It's 19, yeah. this is 91? Yeah. 91 NBA hoops. Mm-hmm. You got to open it very carefully because you don't want to get those edges. Oh yeah, you know you have to. You can't just tear open a pack, you know, like, a, like a werewolf. I do, <laughs> uh, but I'm a big dumb idiot. And then you get these. Uh, you know, you got to be careful. A couple comes. Oh, Ooh. get a couple of them. Yeah, get the rest. They come out. They get them all falling out of here. All right. You want to? You want to keep that PSA ten? You know. Look at that. This guy knows his cards. Did you get okay. all of them? I'll take the trash. Immediately it's crunch them stuff. all. It's good stuff. I'm excited. Why am I so excited? Oh my god, we're starting strong. All right, who do you got? Do I show the camera? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can give it to me, and then I'll show it. Pat Riley, Coach oh, of the Year. Coach of the Year card. Pat Riley, no middle name. Pat Riley. On the back of these, they'll tell you the middle name. Pat Riley. Nope. Not even Patrick Riley. It's got to be Patrick Riley. Look at young with the Lakers. Pat yeah, Riley. Yeah, this is. By the way, this is slick back. That hair ain't going nowhere, Pat Riley. He looks great. He looks like Andy Garcia on the sideline. Yeah, look at him. Probably, this is a guy, if he's your dentist, he's getting you nitrous. <laughs> at Just least. know that. Coach of the year in 1990. Pretty big. Keep pile. This is rookie Chicago Bulls. B.J. Armstrong. That's big. Rookie card. B.J. Armstrong rookie card's big. I big. don't think he's in the Hall of Fame, but he's in our mental Hall of Fame. He has rings. He's got a lot of rings. He's got six? Six? Three to six. <laughs> yeah. Some number in there. He was on the 91 through 93 teams. Yeah. I don't know if he was on 96 through 98, but played at all Iowa first round pick. Benjamin Roy Armstrong. Oh. B.J. Armstrong. I like that. Yeah. Wait, how do you get bj from benjamin roy i think bj the benjamin is got BJ. it all right also you got to be good at basketball going by the name bj <laughs> yeah. you gotta fucking ball out if your name is but he's going in the keeper pile the rookie bj armstrong huge okay this one instant legend never heard of him but i'll never forget him now <laughs> fat lever fat lever by the way turn around Lafayette Lover is his, is oh, his god okay. name. And we got him right there. Number 12 for the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets. But Lafayette went to Arizona State. Boo. But Lafayette Lever, first round pick, fat. And right here, fat Lever. He wasn't going by then, you know? They didn't have it going Lafayette, on. Lafayette, yeah, no. But he goes up here with the Nuggets. So you don't even get to No, choose. yeah, that's a, not, even, not even an option. As a Nuggets fan. I got to say, the names were so cool back then. Sedale Threat. That's awesome. Sedale Threat sounds like a punk band. <laughs> yeah. Where you'd be like, his name was Sedale Eugene Threat. Six round pick. With the Supersonics. Out of West Virginia Tech. Okay. Supersonics. Played for the Sixers for a little bit. Cup of, cup of coffee with the Bulls. And then ended up being a Seattle Supersonic. Sedale, you got a great name. You're going in the crusty pile. Great name, though. Great name. Speaking of, Otis Thorpe. Otis Thorpe, great name. Sounds like an R&B singer that you want to put on an album. <laughs> yeah. And then just have a Let's drink. get Otis in here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can get Otis to sing back up on that. Otis, you in here? <laughs> he played it for the Kings and then for the uh, Houston Rockets out of Providence. First round pick in 1984. Otis Thorpe. Otis Thorpe, we love the album. You're going in the crusty pile. 
Okay, with the bullets, the revered bullets, Daryl Walker. Daryl Walker, I've heard of. People might get mad. No middle name. Daryl Walker played for Arkansas. He was the first round pick uh, out of from New York City. Um, played a year for the Nuggets. But Daryl Walker, I apologize. With the bullets, to, back when it was the bullets. Yeah, before they were about magic, back when they were getting shit done with a gun. I love that they were, even then, they were like, they didn't see the PR problem with calling the team the because bullets. The, it, was only when the, it was only when the murder rate got so high that they go. It's not ironic anymore. Guys, it's a little, a little too on the nose. I think we have to shift it to magic. <laughs> they were probably like, what's going to clean up this city, a wizard? And they go, say that again. I said, what's going to clean up this city, a wizard? <laughs> yes hmm. get the stationary <laughs> so printed washington Wizards. okay guys everyone time stamp this john stockton oh get your vax out of me john houston stockton <laughs> oh is he a big he's anti-vaxxer a huge anti-vaxxer i can see that i can also see that. i don't even think he thinks like covid was real he's no. like one of those guys listen you're gonna be anti-vax i'm sure you can make an argument that can convince me yeah if you're one of those people that's like covid wasn't real you're like well then tell me that f the four times i got the shit kicked out of me <laughs> by a virus you know what i mean it's like well then that flu was mean how about call it mean <laughs> flu but john stockton i mean there's no chance he's going in the crusty pile because he's just that good looks like every guy my mom dated in the early 90s oh you you were lucky yeah my john mom, stockton yeah my mom was you know my mom was a catch in the early yeah. 90s she had she had uh, that big hair. Everyone was, you know, a young single mom with a boy that could do voices. Who wouldn't want me as a stepson? <laughs> you would do the young Rodney Dangerfield yeah. when a guy go, come over. I'm telling you, I get no respect. <laughs> My room's always dirty. <laughs> oh, with the Nets, Roy Hinson, Roy Hinson. Junior, Junior, Roy Hinson Junior, Roy Manis Hinson Junior, oh. out of Rutgers, first round pick. Uh, love that stay local rutgers to the nets well he spent some time with the Cavs and then the sixers but the sixers technically you always come home. are close you, you always, always come, come home. home but uh roy you're a real <laughs> roy manis kept making me think of munson he's like you're <laughs> a real manis <laughs> but roy hinson for all you nets fans i'm sorry he's going in the crusty pile sorry ron harper with the clippers i mean dude young ron harper you gotta go Ron, Ronald Harper with the Clippers. I think by accident I put him in a crusty pile before. That was my fault. I don't know Ron ha Harper. I'm thinking of the wrong, wrong Harper. I'm thinking of the Ron one from, Harper, the one from the Laker, the one from the Lakers. Was that eventually him? No, I don't think it was Ron Harper on the Let me, Lakers. I'm gonna look it up. Ron Harper. I know some. My basketball is like I'm kind of like I know the blue chips. Yeah, I know the big names. But if you get in, into like if this guy came off the bench at any point thirty years ago, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be the yeah, authority no. on. Who that I don't is. know. Yeah, this is the same Ron Harper, dude. That's the Lakers. So he yeah. went to the Lakers after the Clippers. Yeah, dude, Ron Harper is a fucking legend, and he was with them for that run with the Kobe years. Yeah, wow, Ron Harper. He's going in the. He's going to the he's keeper. He's a keeper. Pile. And I'm sorry about the last time, Ron Harper. I will. I'll punch myself in the balls for you. Oh, my God. It's heating up. AC Green. Oh, shit. Hey, we had another AC Green recently. AC Green, who I mistook. It. I uh, made the mistake. I thought he was Al Cowlings from the OJ call. <laughs> <laughs> but AC Green is different. Played for the Lakers. AC, Al, AC Green Jr. And by the way, they don't give you his real name on the back. They just go. It's air conditioning because, <laughs> you know, if you were on a hot streak, he'd cool you down in a hurry. Damn. Take that. Run with it. Speaking of Lakers, what a run here. Rookie card, Vladdy Divock. Are you kidding huge. me? Floppy Divock, dude. Are pack you kidding? A Marlboro, dude, pack a Marlboro lights a day. <laughs> look at this. Look how look when at the picture training. on the back. Oh, my God. He's, look at that guy. He's like, please, I don't want to come in for pictures. You have to understand something. College, none. From hailing <laughs> from Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Damn, dude. Vladdy Divock. 
one of the legends he came over it's like he was like a war criminal yeah. fleeing charges and he's he was like, like how can i go undercover <laughs> i i can get you guns that's what he said he's like they go hey vladdy man i was trying to get a handgun he goes i know guy guns. how about you trade me to charlotte for kobe bryant that's what happened that is what happened yeah vladdy got traded to the charlotte hornets for the rights to a young kobe bean bryant oh my god but then vladdy where did he end up? The Kings? Kings. Play. He, he was did, nasty with yeah. the Kings. That was on that great Lakers-Kings rivalry where the Kings had Weber, Peja Stojakovic, Pages, Mike Bibby. Yeah. They had some fucking ballers, but they had, they had Floppy Divac. Yeah, and I call him great. Floppy because he, he brought that soccer style of yeah. flopping the basketball, European. which would now we see everywhere. Mm-hmm. So he was the originator, Floppy Divac. LaSalle Thompson. LaSalle Thompson, I remember, he could ball. I think he went to the Nuggets at one point, but LaSalle Thompson the third. So there's been two more LaSalle Thompson. Have there been? He's the third, dude. Okay, we're getting on the home stretch. I'm sorry, LaSalle, you're going crusty pile. You are. I don't know who you are, LaSalle. This guy I know. The one and the only. Akeem Olajuwon. The dream, dude. Arguably one of the greatest big men of all time. Arguably. At University of Houston to then the Houston Rockets. Two chips, 94-95. Hakeem the Dream is unbelievable. Uh, I mean, there's no chance he's going anywhere near the crusty This pot. is a hot pack, right? Dude, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Out of, look at this. Usually we have way more crusty cards. Yeah. You're doing fucking great with it. These guys are good. I mean, that's a... Let, let me see this one. So this is an all-star card. Yeah. It's not the... Uh, but the rookie, Vladi is... I mean, dude... He goes, David, the rookie Vladi's amazing. He's gonna start. Ta- he's gonna be your spirit animal and start talking. <laughs> to you. He's like, David, make make milk money too. I would love movie. I would love movie about the black prostitute. Please, for old Yugoslavian Vladi Divok. Okay, this home stretch, Sydney Low. Sydney Low, how low can you go? I don't know, but he looks a little like Roy Wood Jr. I don't know why. That's not me being racist. <laughs> That's just me saying he kind of looks like my friend Roy Wood Jr. What's he playing for? Uh, the Wolves, the oh, Timberwolves. Okay. This is in their second season yeah, of that, being an organization. New new team, Minnesota yeah, Timberwolves. Which, it's crazy as a Nuggets fan. You know, they beat us in the playoffs, and I really didn't like them for a little bit, but I'm back to liking them. I think Anthony Edwards is awesome. Yeah, I, I really was a big uh, Kevin Garnett so far, how could you not like him? He Kevin was Garnett, kind of the most athletic. Starberry before he went to the Knicks, they had Stephon Marbury. Yeah. They had a bunch of fun guys. They had Chauncey Billups for a little bit. Yeah, personally, one of my favorite players of all time. A great team, a great franchise. Yeah, send merch, Timberwolves. <laughs> Here we go. This is the last one. Milwaukee Bucks coach Del Harris. Del Harris is a classic coach. For the Bucks, look at that old school logo. It looks like a penis holding a basketball. <laughs> yeah. That old Milwaukee's Bucks logo is fucking wild. He went to a college called Milligan. Never heard of it. Milligan. Uh, but Del, Cl- Del Harris was the coach for the Rockets up until the 87 season. Then he took over the Milwaukee Bucks. He is great, but he is going in the crusty pile. So who do we look up? Who do you think we should look up? Oh, boy. Out of all these people. I would say Sedale. That's a great name. You Sedale look Threat. You got to look up. S-E-D-A-L-E. Look up Sedale Threat. Oh, I got you. We're going to look up Sedale Threat. Sedale Threat, obviously, he went to West Virginia Tech, born September 10th, 1961 in Atlanta, Georgia. Played for the Sixers, the Bulls for a half a season. Yes. Okay. He was drafted by the Sixers. We know that. He was, threat was expected to play a backup role to Magic Johnson. However, Magic Johnson's sudden retirement for medical reasons. This is after this card came out. So he was with the Lakers. Uh-huh. Um, threat became the starting point guard of the Los Angeles Lakers. Wow. Okay. His Replacing ability. Replacing Magic? Yeah. That's big. That's okay. crazy. I would have never known that he yeah, yeah, I know. He might get bumped up, Sedale. <laughs> uh, his ability to steal the ball earned him the nickname The Thief from Lakers commentators Chick Hearn and Stu Lance. How do you get a nickname when your name's Threat? This guy's a threat. Why do you need a Guys, nickname? Guys, you have no idea where this is going. 
Oh, God. Yeah, this is homeless hey. pimp. This is the greatest new segment you thought of. Threat is thought to have fathered at least 14 children. Okay. And been married twice. His first wife, Nicole Plotzer, in 1992, she later left him for Dr. Dre. Whoa. This guy's got a life. In 2000, Threat was sentenced to six months in prison for pay, failing to pay child support. Well, well, when you got 14. Four, yeah. you got 14 of them. What are you doing? I mean, you're really going to fucking... That's not his fault. I mean, my God. <laughs> Sorry this guy just hits open shots. <laughs> he, had a, he, uh, he had a plea deal with prosecutors who recommended five months of probation, but U.S. District Judge Mark L. Wolf rejected the agreement and sentenced him to prison. Wolf also ordered threats to comply with five other outstanding child support orders for children in other jurisdictions. As of 2012, Threat and his son, Sedale Threat Jr., ran a basketball school in Melbourne, Australia. Threat has another son, <laughs> also named Sedale Threat Jr. Dude, that is... That's the best. The greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's the best. That this guy had two kids with the same name. He's hedging his bets. It's like, <laughs> one of these is going to be goes, worth it. I got to have a junior that works out. <laughs> yeah. And Sedale Threat Jr. is going to work out. Uh, his uh, So, Sedale Threat Jr., the second, <laughs> uh, attended college at Lehigh University and played quarterback on the football team. This Sedale Jr. later went into acting. So, oh. he's an actor. And I would love to, I mean, we got to get, up get him on the podcast. Reach out. Reach out. Reach out right now. Yeah, let's Reach out to story. me, a homeless pimp. Because honestly, to go from the crusty pile to the couch, to sit here on the couch, I'm saving this card. It's not going anywhere. Because this is such a good crusty card. <laughs> this guy's life is insane. He backed up Magic Johnson, lost his wife to Dr. Dre, had 14 kids, two of them named Junior. Then had to flee the country. Then now he's in Melbourne, not Melbourne, Melbourne. 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 Teaching fucking basketball to... A, a, to people who don't even play basketball. Yeah, to a, a continent filled of the descendants of convicts. I mean, yeah. what's going on? And we've seen now, Also, he was dancing. good at stealing the ball. Maybe that's what he brought over there. <laughs> they go, what do you know, Betty? And he goes, I used to steal the ball. They go, oh, I'm listening. <laughs> hey, there's no why you name two of your kids the same name, is it? <laughs> what would it have been like? It would really be a butt fucking life. <laughs> Dan, what would it have been like if if Rodney Dangerfield had grown up in Australia? He goes, oh, oh I've no. <laughs> so, it's just noises. It's, it's just guttural noises. He's like, hey, oh, I'm telling you. Oh, hey, I'm telling you. Oh, I get no respect. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm telling you. Hey, hey, I'm telling you. The dingo ate me, baby. I don't know. I can't do it. I want to go back to him being a mass shooter. Yeah. He's like, hey, they're all going to pay. I got a list of enemies. They're all going to die. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombots. He used to give me nitrous. And then I killed him. Then I killed him for sleeping with my wife. She, I, I'm telling you, I don't respect my wife. I make her wear a pillow outside his address. These are all Kanye when he does to his wife or Rodney jokes. Hey, I got no respect for her. She looks like my the mother of my children, so I make her dress up extra sexy. This is Kanye Dangerfield. Kanye man. Dangerfield. <laughs> you know me. They call me Yay. Yay Dangerfield. <laughs> I'm on enough nitrous. You can pull any of my teeth. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking episode. David it's Angelo, so thank you for coming by. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.